Another consideration to make your virtual conferencing experiences a little bit more polished is lighting. So an ideal situation, you'd be sitting in front of natural lighting, whether that's just propping your laptop or your phone in front of a window, a glass door, or any other way to get that natural lighting into your home, into your office, wherever it is that you're conferencing from. Next, you could use artificial lighting, um, but you definitely want it to be behind your laptop um, or behind the webcam, I should say. You don't want um, to become shadowed by the light behind you. So um, I'm gonna show you a few options. Here is natural lighting. I have a folding table set up right in front of a window. Um, and that was the best way that I could get natural lighting in the house. Here's what it looks like when I'm next to the window, but it's at my back. Here's me directly underneath artificial lighting. So you can tell it made me a little bit shadowy. Here I am further back, but still underneath the artificial lighting. And here I am with a light behind my webcam. So just a lamp plugged in on the table. So in summary, natural lighting in front of you is the best option. You do not need to go out and buy a fancy ring light. You can use lamps. Um, the lamp that I had was very small, so not ideal. Um, if you have a bigger one or multiple of them, that works even better. Um, just consider that, um, so some considerations don't sit directly underneath overhead lighting to avoid some shadowing um, and make sure the lighting is in front of you.